So you probably have noticed that, say, whenever a YouTuber wants to record on the go with some good audio, they usually go for a Rode mic, more specifically one of these Rode mic video mic goes. And finally, I decided to pick one up myself. So just for whatever it's more convenient to use one of these, that's literally just mounted on top of your camera, instead of having my normal mic, which I record all these videos with, which is uh, right here. And for when it's just not worth it to mess around with my wireless mic kit. So I guess let's just unpack this, see what it's like. So let's get this open, shall we? I honestly, this is actually a perfect example of why I could probably use a mic like this because my arm for my normal mic doesn't actually reach super far over in this direction so as you can see it's not like directly in front of me so like I need to be facing literally this way for the optimal audio without having to you know unscrew the whole arm and put it in somewhere else so with something like this I can just mount this on top of my camera right there and it would be a much simpler solution. So, let's just open this up. I'm actually really, really excited because this is, you know, pretty much like the standard. Everyone uses road mics. And what's the smell? Is this? Why does it smell like perfume? Has has anyone else ever uh, said anything about this? Like people who use road mics, do they smell like? It smells like a. It smells like a highly perfumed. Like a highly perfumed um, mainland European woman, <laughs> if that makes sense. If is this actually made in like mainland Europe? If it is, I deserve some like brownie points for getting it right. Um, Australia? Look, it's made. It's made in Australia, apparently. Uh, okay, Australians. Why? Why are products smelling like? Uh, what do you say? Uh, highly perfumed. The mainland European women. It that is actually that is actually so weird. And honestly, like up close, it doesn't look as you know high quality as I imagine almost. Like this whole thing is just you know base plastic, very like thin plastic almost feels like. It has a little thing here for you to uh, adjust, and yeah, even the whole back is like plastic. It's all it's all just plastic. Um, what else do we get here? We get a nice little cable. The cable is actually looking pretty cool. It's got kind of like a spring, you know. I I don't know why, but I just really like these cables. And you just put it in the back of here and boom, you're done. Cool. Just put the cable in a mic, put the cable, the other side of the cable to the camera. Great. Now let's actually put it on and see what it even sounds like. So for some reason, my camera didn't switch over the audio input to the Rode microphone. So I'm just recording it at my desk while editing. So yeah. This is what this mic sounds like. So I guess, yeah, uh, support my channel on Patreon, you know, you know, one dollar month goes a long way. And also like to find my patrons, Elko B and Gavin Burns. Th thanks to people like that, maybe sooner I'll be able to afford to get another light right over there, so you can't just see half of my face. Also, if you want to buy this mic yourself, I'm going to have the Amazon links for it in the video description below. Because if you buy through our link, you don't pay anything extra, we get some money, it's a win-win. Once again, it allows me to afford another light over there. And also, while you're here, maybe check out my Discord. It's a great place, go and join it. And I guess that's really it to say. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you didn't, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.